All right, we're going to do number four from the 2009 BC exam. Um, it's a differential equation slash Euler method slash Taylor series question. Um, so it's, it's pretty standard uh, Calc BC stuff. Uh, remember, for Euler's method, you're probably going to want to set up this table. So we got x, we got y, and we have delta y, which is um, the change in y that we're approximating. Um, in this problem, delta x is one half uh, because we have to use uh, two equal step sizes. And dy dx is given it's 6x squared minus x squared times y, uh, which is kind of suspiciously factors. Uh, the initial point is negative 1, 2. So now we're going to calculate delta y. First thing you should do is put that delta x, which is what everyone forgets. Uh, now we have to evaluate um, the derivative at the point negative 1, 2. Uh, and it, eventually we get 2 for our delta y. So fill in the next row. Uh, delta x was 1 half, so we add 1 half to the negative 1. Uh, we add 2 and 2 to get 4 for our new approximation of y, um, and do it again. So don't forget delta x. We take negative 1 half 4 and we substitute it into uh, dy dx. We end up with 1 fourth there. So uh, we're going to combine uh, the 4 and the 1 fourth to get 17 fourths, and that's actually the approximation at 0. So f of 0 is approximately equal to 17 fourths, and that's what we were asked to do. So not so bad. Um, the next question, Taylor polynomial, uh, second degree polynomial, so I'm going to call that p sub 2. And I'm going to write out in general what that should be. That should be f of negative 1 plus f prime of negative 1, the quantity x plus 1 to the first over 1 factorial, plus f double prime of negative 1, um, the quantity x plus 1 squared over 2 factorial. Um, so now I just need to collect some things that I can substitute in. So I know f of negative 1 is 2, that was given. Um, I know that f prime of negative 1 is dy dx evaluated at negative 1, 2, which is 4. And they just give us uh, the second derivative, which is nice of them. And now we're just going to build our polynomial. And so we start with f of negative 1 plus 4, the quantity x plus 1 to the first, and then minus 12, the quantity x plus 1 squared over 2 factorial, which, uh, that was the question, so mission accomplished. Uh, the next question, or the next part, I should say, is we need to find the uh, particular solution with the given initial condition. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factor this. Notice that I'm factoring out negative x squared. I'm doing that so that when I separate, I end up with a positive coefficient for y. Uh, I found that that just leads to fewer problems. I don't, I don't exactly know why people have trouble with that. But uh, we separate and we get dy over y minus 6 equals negative x squared dx. Um, so on the left-hand side, I need to do a u substitution. Well, I need to integrate. Um, I need to do a u substitution. I'm going to do it in my head. Um, and u is y minus 6. So du is just dy. If you don't factor out that negative, then you need negative dy, um, and that's where you know people lose it. So we get the natural log of the absolute value of y minus 6 equals negative 1 third x cubed, but don't forget plus c. If you forget plus c, you're doomed on this. Um, whenever there's a natural log, I like to exponentiate before I solve for c. So y minus 6 equals c e to the negative 1 third x cubed. If you're confused about that, I'm pretty sure there are some other videos I've made where we go through that process. I know f of negative 1 is 2, so I plug that in, or I plug in what I know, solve for c. So c is negative 4 e to the negative 1 third. Um, one of the things to watch out for, a lot of people uh, get nervous when the constant ends up ugly. It doesn't matter. Um, the constant can be whatever it is, and uh, that's our final solution. So. Uh, this is a pretty standard problem. It's got some things that I think a lot of people would shy away from. Uh, part B in particular, series people don't really like. Um, and then solving these differential equations people don't really like. But there's nothing to be afraid of here. So uh, I hope you found this useful, and good luck.